So apparently Minecraft Zara didn't want to do an intro. So hey, welcome to this video. Here is a couple tips and tricks to help you in your Minecraft journey. Um, hope they help and enjoy. Sorry it's short. Trick one. So in this trick you can shoot through the middle of honey blocks. You can't shoot on them but you can shoot through the middle bits where they connect. So next time you make a tower make one out of honey blocks because they are really useful. Tip two. If you are mining and you happen to break into lava place a bed down instead of running away because this time this means the lava can't get you even if it comes above you there tip three so in this tip if you're walking along and you suddenly think why is my game lagging if you press f3 and shift it will show you the debug menu down there and then it tells you the factors on a pie chart of why your game is lagging. I think this is really useful because there's a lot of people out there who don't have the greatest computers to do this with. Tip four, I think. So when you're building your farm, if you want to build it quite nice, you don't have to put the water right next to the farmland. So you could have a design like this where you put wood in between. It doesn't even have to be wood, it could be something like jukeboxes so you can show off to your friends. Or it can even be air. Tip five. What you need to do is you place a composter down, get in it, and then if you put a piece of gravel above your head, you can see everything. Mobs, caves, this also works with a piston, but if you don't want to get all the redstone, this is much easier. Tip six. If you place a block down, doesn't have to be cobble, before blowing before a creeper blows up, you will take only like half a heart of damage. I think that's really useful. Tip seven. So is anyone else trying to get a villager to where they want them but can't get them in a boat or a minecart it's very expensive to get all the boats and minecraft minecarts and stuff well if you click a villager with a profession they will follow you for a few seconds after tip eight so we all know that if you cook a sponge it turns into a dry sponge and we all know that you just put it in a furnace and it works but did you know that if you then put a wet sponge in and then take the coal out and then put a water bucket in you will get a dry sponge and a bucket of water so if you want to reuse that water somewhere it's really good anyway tip nine so we all look for buried treasure when we find it right but there's an easier way to find it than just spending half an hour digging everywhere if you go to the chunks nine and then nine, so there, you will instantly find the chest, always there. Tip 10. So if you're in a boat and you you can't see underwater, and it's dark over the top, you, you're gonna be one of seeing clearly under the water. So there is a little glitch where if you just go certain amount above and under the water, you can see all the underwaterness without any bad water tip 11 so every time i see a painting it's just you go, you go through it because paintings have always been now what you hide things behind but if you want to make it harder place a block like that and a trap door and then whoever's going through it has to use an elytra to get through it so it even took me a few tries because this is quite a hard way of doing it there we go so I think that's a good way to do it. Tip 12. If you're getting chased by what I'm getting chased by here, a pillager, you can place a composter down, place a trapdoor on top, and it's a little safe base for whenever they're gone or until they get killed or whatever. Tip 13. Uh, fences are quite difficult to remember the recipe and they can get in the way. But if you use trap doors and face them inwards like this, animals cannot jump over them, but humans can. So there you go, I can jump over them, but this cow here is stuck. And this one, and all these little baby cows. They're all stuck in there, but I can get in and out. Okay, so last tip, 
Okay, so if you get a banner and name it whatever you like, doesn't have to be home, but that's just what I've named it for this example. If you place that banner down and then get a map, you can click on it, right click on it, and it makes a little waypoint on your map there. So there you go, it says home. And that's all the tips, thank you for watching. Apparently Minecraft Zara also forgot to record an outro. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, leave a comment on which hacks you're going to use and see you next time.